Solving for empirical formulas. The formulas for compounds can be expressed as empirical formulas or as molecular or true formulas. The empirical formula is the atom value lowered to its simplest terms. So for the empirical formula CH, the molecular formula or true formula could be Su2H2 for the molecule acetylene. We also have an empirical formula of CH if we have the molecular true formula C6H6, which is benzene. CO2, which is carbon dioxide, is both the empirical and molecular or true formula for carbon dioxide. While CH2O could be C5H10O5 for ribose or C6H12O6 for glucose. Therefore, an empirical formula represents the simplest whole number ratio of the atoms in the compound, while the molecular formula is the true or actual ratio of the atoms within the compound. In order to solve for the empirical formula from percent composition, we will begin with a sample problem of a compound is chlorine at 71.65%, carbon at 24.27%, and hydrogen at 4.07%. What is the empirical formula for this compound? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the percents to grams. So therefore, chlorine is going to be 71.65 grams, carbon will be 24.27 grams, and the hydrogen will be 4.07 grams. Next, we're going to convert the grams to moles. We do this by creating the conversion factor of one mole over the AMU, or mass from the periodic table. So in this case, one mole of chlorine is 35.45 chlorine, which comes out to 2.02 .02 moles of chlorine. Likewise, one mole of carbon is 12.01 grams of carbon, giving us a mole value of 2.02 .02 moles of carbon. And hydrogen has one mole of hydrogen for every 1.01 grams of hydrogen, giving us a mole value of 4.02 moles of hydrogen. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to find the actual ratio. And we do this by dividing the smallest mole value into all of the other mole values. So from our problem, the 2.02 .02 is the smallest value. So therefore, 2.02 .02 moles of chlorine divided by the 2.02 .02 gives us one atom of chlorine. 2.02 .02 moles of carbon divided by that same 2.02 .02 .02 moles of chlorine gives us one atom of carbon. And the 4.02 .02 moles of hydrogen gives us a value of two atoms of hydrogen when divided by the 2.02 .02 moles of chlorine. Once we have this ratio of atoms, we can then complete our empirical formula. And in this case, we have C1H2Cl1, one carbon atom for every two hydrogen atoms for every one chlorine atom. For the example, if aspirin is 60% carbon, 4.5% hydrogen, and 35.5% oxygen, how can we calculate the simplest formula or the empirical formula? So again, we're going to convert the percents to grams. Therefore, we have 60.0 grams of carbon, 4.5 grams of hydrogen, and 35.5 grams of oxygen. We now are going to convert the grams to moles, taking the conversion factor of one mole over the AMU, which is 12.01 grams for carbon, giving us a value of 4.99 moles of carbon. The one mole of hydrogen divided by 1.01 .01 grams of hydrogen gives us a value of 4.45 moles of hydrogen, and our 35.5 grams of oxygen must be multiplied by one mole of oxygen divided by 16.0 grams of oxygen, giving us a value of 2.22 moles of oxygen. Our smallest mole value in this case is 2.22 moles of oxygen. So when we divide to find the atom ratio, 4.99 moles of carbon divided by 2.22, we get 2.25 atoms of carbon. The 
4.45 divided by the 2.22 gives us two atoms of hydrogen and 2.22 divided by 2.22 is of course one atom of oxygen. Now here's where things get a little different and if we get values of 0.1 or 0.9 we can round off. If we do not get values of 0.1 or 0.9, so in this case we have 2.25 atoms of carbon, we need to do something a little different to get the whole number ratios. So are the results whole numbers? We look at it and we see that we have carbon at 2.25 atoms of carbon. Well, you can't have a quarter of an atom. So therefore what we have to do is we have to actually multiply by a value that will give us a whole number. So if we have a 0.5, we will multiply by 2. If we have 0 0.33, 0 0.3, we would multiply by 3. 0.25 we would multiply by 4 and so on down for each of the fractional values or decimal values. So in this case being 2.25 we are actually going to multiply everything by 4. So our 2.25 times 4, our 2 times 4 and our 1 times 4 gives us values of actually 9 atoms of carbon, 8 atoms of hydrogen and 4 atoms of oxygen giving us an empirical formula of carbon 9, hydrogen 8, oxygen 4.